How's it going, Voltard? Y'all are really fucking killing me with this with this piss and vinegar and shit y'all got this week. I don't understand it. You literally just got taught a lesson by Georgia. They beat your ass like Cade May's dad was suing the school. Oh, he is. Never mind. But you guys, all week, all I had to hear, I bet, I bet, I bet. Georgia, Tennessee's offensive lines are best in the SEC. Five stars across the board. And then what happened? You came out and just got fucking dominated on both lines of scrimmage. Stetson Bennett. Stetson Bennett. The walk-on. Come up there and just lit your ass up. Um, yeah. I mean, George, don't get me wrong. George is the Probably, maybe the best team in the SEC. Um, they're very good. But, can't tell a Tennessee fan that last week. No, 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 we're going to beat Georgia. Yeah, real fucking smart. But enough about Georgia. I want to ask all the Tennessee fans, when is the last time Tennessee had a 10-win season? I'll wait. I know you guys got to type, 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 and Google it, right? I did the Googling for you. It's 2007. You know Kentucky's last 10 win season? 2017. But that's irrelevant, you know. It doesn't really play into the game Saturday. But I just thought I'd let you know that before you guys start telling people you're a football school. Because, um, you know, a football school would probably win more than 10 ball games, more than 9 ball games in 13 years, right? Um, that's another topic for another day. You know what I was doing in 2007? I was in middle school. So the last time that Tennessee was relevant, I was in middle school. I'm now 26. You guys have been irrelevant for 13 years. Where do you get this optimism at? Where? Because you need to bottle this shit up and sell it to depress people. Because this shit is fucking ridiculous. As far as the game goes Saturday, this is how it's going to go. You can quote me on this. Um, I already have a bet with BVD. Um, here's how it's going to go. Tennessee fans, Peyton Manning is not walking through the door. Even if he was, you couldn't protect him. Offensive line, straight shit. Straight shit. I'm just going to tell you how it is. And I know, because most of you Tennessee fans can't tell me the difference between a three technique and a nose guard. So, I know. I've watched the film. So, straight doo-doo offensive line. Really, really fucking bad quarterback who's going to turn it over a lot. So, Kentucky's going to get the football. Um, run it for five or six yards a clip. Run the clock. Run the clock. Dominate both lines of scrimmage, dominate time of possession. Um, Gary is going to give us one or two turnovers. And we're going to beat you. 17-10, uh, 17-14, 21-14. Somewhere around one score. It's going to be a close ball game. Don't get me wrong. It's going to be a close ball game because we don't have a very explosive offense as far as the passing game goes. But we can just flat out bust people in the mouth up front. Um, that offensive line that Tennessee thought they had, it's a Kentucky. Is that the Wildcats? Yeah, it's at Kentucky. Um, yeah, I don't understand where you guys are getting all this piss and vinegar. You've been irrelevant for 13 years. You're a football school, supposedly. We're a basketball school. We've been more relevant in the past 13 years than you have. You time to wake up, Tennessee, and we're gonna slap you in the fucking mouth and wake you up on Saturday. Go Cats.